Hello, my friends. Uh, welcome to my live stream. My name is Francis, and today I'll be making Hair Boy. So, um, this is Cuckoo Chef Francis, live on YouTube, making a reel on YouTube. So, I said today I'll be making Hair Boy, and of course, uh, I'll be using my lovely herbs and spinach to make um, our lovely Hair Boy. It's gonna be absolutely gorgeous and sensational because this is gonna be a lovely dressing. Of course, our hair oil, we could sprinkle a little bit of hair oil, you know, on our lovely soup. You know, when we make soup of the day, we can sprinkle, um, you know, hair oil on that. Of course, our hair oil could be used for salad dressing as well. You know, you could also use your hair oil on your lovely, um, you know, grilled salmon. Of course, you can use pesto as well. But of course, for someone, hair oil is also absolutely nice. So I'm going to be showing you how to make our hair oil. Of course, we're going to blanch it. You know, we blanch. We're going to, you know, blanch, cook, or boil it or whatever. Same thing when you blanch it. Then of course, I'm going to show you the process of how we're going to do it. And of course, I will need my olive oil. You could use your corn oil. You could use your favorite oil. You know, you like to make your hair oil. You know, but today I'm going to be showing you how to make, you know, a lovely and gorgeous hair boy, you know, which is going to be used for so many things, the salad, dressings and all that, for your soup and all that. So remember my friends, in the next two hours, I'm going to be making another video, another live stream, it's going to be on a lovely soup, you know, I'm going to be making, you know, cream or, you know, celery and spinach soup. It's going to be absolutely lovely and absolutely you know, sensational. So sit back, relax, and enjoy But I get started to make our lovely, you know, hair boy. I'm going to wish you, my friends, again a happy new year. You know, you know, we now we see the new year. And of course, yesterday I didn't make any video because yesterday was new year. I made a video on the 31st of, of December. And I wish you, my friends, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in advance and of course now we're in the new year and of course new year new things and of course I'm going to make a new video I promise I'm going to be making a lovely video today and of course I said I'll be making different types of soup you know in this month this month of January I'll be making lovely soup of the day you know different type you check my you know my playlist on soup of the day you're going to see short videos on how to make soups of course, I'm making a live stream now and I promise to make more videos on soup. And of course, I'll be making more videos on dressings, sauces. Right here on this station, you're going to learn how to make tartar sauce and the rest. Lovely sauces. You know, I'm going to be making them right here on this station, on this lovely channel. So my friends, keep supporting this channel. If it's your first time watching this live stream or it's your first time visiting this lovely channel, please click the subscribe button, turn on the bell, you know, so you get notified whenever I go live or whenever I upload a new video. Of course, you need to turn on the bell button. If you don't, if you just subscribe without turning on the bell, you might miss the latest from Cook with Chef France. Of course, you don't want to miss the latest, then please do so by turning on the bell button and keep watching this channel. You know, keep sharing my videos on social medias. You know, give it a like. Let people know that there's a great channel like this running on YouTube. Of course, I'm going to wish you, my friends, again, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in advance. So I'm going to get started to make our lovely hair oil. Of course, I need only five ingredients to make this lovely hair oil. What are the ingredients? I'm going to be using our lovely spinach. Of course, I'm going to be using spinach, 100 grams of spinach. And of course, I'm going to be using our lovely basil. Of course, our basil have fragrance, you know what I mean? Like, lovely aroma. Our, our basil have lovely aroma. Oh my god, this is a fresh basil. I'm going to be using that for my lovely hair boy. And of course, I'm going to be using chive. I'm going to be using parsley. And of course, I'm going to be using my olive oil. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. I'll be right back in just a second. Thank you very much.
So my friends, I'm back now. So that's my timer. I need my timer because we'll be busy. Uh, we'll be blending our, you know, our lovely hair. And of course, we're going to decant it. Then pass and decant. And of course, I'm going to be showing you from start to finish how I'm going to be making my lovely hair boy. So now, my friends, I have my basil with me, fresh basil. Of course, I'm going to grab my parsley and the rest of the ingredients. Thank you very much. I need spinach. Chai. Parsley. And of course, my friends, I need olive oil. So my friends, uh, I want to grab my recipes now. That's my olive oil. Yeah. So my friends, I said I'm going to be using just five ingredients for that. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Five ingredients, my, my, my friends, five ingredients for just, you know, making our hair boy. Only five ingredients. And I said, for my five ingredients, I'll be using spinach, spinach, 100 grams, chive, 10 grams, parsley, 25 grams, and of course, our lovely basil, I'm going to be using just 10 grams of basil. So now, my friends, I'm going to wash all my herb and spinach. You know, after washing, my friends, you know what I'm going to be doing next? After washing, after washing, I'm going to blanch it. You know, for a few minutes, about two minutes. I'm going to blanch it for about two minutes. And as I'm blanching, you know, I'm going to blaze or blend, you know, with a strong blender or a food processor or a liquidizer. You know, you need something very strong. So I'm going to be using my strong blender to blaze or blend my lovely, you know, spinach and herbs. And of course, I'm going to decant it, you know, and get a lovely uh, hair boy. So thank you, my friends, for tuning in, you know, and staying connected to this lovely station. My name remains Francis, and this is Coco Share Francis, live on YouTube, making it real on YouTube. So I'm going to get started now. So first, I'm going to wash my hair and spinach. I'm going to pick. First, I'm going to pick them. I'm going to pick them. After picking the hair and spinach, I'm going to, I'm going to wash. And after washing, and of course, I'm going to pick and weigh them. After picking and weighing them, I'm going to wash them. And of course, after washing, I'm going to tell you the next thing to do. So I'm going to get started now. Sit back, class, and enjoy. Thank you very much. So I need my lovely bowl. Or oh, I need a colander. So I'm going to weigh my lovely spinach now. So my friends, I'm going to weigh my spinach. I said I need 100 grams of spinach to make my lovely hair ball. Just 100 grams. 100 grams of spinach. Right now. 
So this is already picked. So I don't need to pick that anymore. 100 grams, spinach. So that's it, my friends. I'll set that aside. So my friends, that's 100 grams of spinach, 100 grams. Now, I need chive. 10 grams of chai. This is about 25 grams. Yeah, that's 25 grams. But I just need 10 grams of chai. So I'm gonna pop 10 grams right in here. So that's 10 grams of chai. Next, my friends. I'm gonna put that away. Cost parsley, I need 25 grams of parsley. So I'm gonna pop that in here, 25 grams, right in there. So uh, I'm gonna pick my parsley. I need 25 grams, I'm gonna pick that now. Just 25 grams, my friends. So this is going to be a lovely hair boy, as I said initially. I'm going to pick that 25 grams. So my friends, uh, I'm gonna wear my bazoo right after this. Yeah, I'll just dancing after the copyright music. The non-copyright music. <laughs> of course, I cannot be playing hip hop and R&B, so I don't get penalized. So my friends, that's the parsley right in here. Parsley, spinach, and chai. So next, 
I'm gonna weigh my basil. Of course, a basil have a nice, you know, aroma, lovely aroma from basil. I'm gonna pop it right into, you know, my head. So now we're gonna get started right away. It's not gonna take us much time. My friends, I'll write back in just a second. Thank you very much. So my friends, right now, I'm gonna weigh my basil. So now I need 10 grams of basil. So I'm gonna pick it. I only need 10 grams. I love the aroma from the basil. Smells nice, absolutely, you know, nice. This is fresh basil from the pot. You can see the soil, you know, the fresh one. So I need to pick it. Smells absolutely nice, my friends. Lovely. I love basil. So I'm done picking my basil. Now I'm gonna wash my herbs to get out my spinach that's lovely my friends so i'm gonna you know clean my work surface So my friends, uh, I'm gonna put that away. I don't need that anymore. So my friends, uh, now what do we have right here? This is my lovely herbs. I'll be using for my hair boy. 
I have right here 100 grams of spinach, basil 10 grams, uh, chive 10 grams, and of course parsley 25 grams. And of course, I'll be using uh, our lovely olive oil. Of course, you could use your corn oil or your favorite oil to make your lovely uh, hair boy. So my friends, now I'm gonna get started. You know, right here I said I have four different types of herbs. And of course, I'll be using my oil, you know, you know, to blend my lovely hair boy. Right now, I'm gonna wash, you know, my lovely herbs and spinach. I'm gonna wash that now. I'm gonna run that in cold water. After running that in cold water, I'm gonna, you know, blanch it. You know, when it comes to making herb, there are different process in culinary terms. You know, you wash, you run that in cold water, never wash your vegetable in hot water, you're gonna ruin it. You must run it in cold water, make sure there's no sound right there, it's absolutely clean, free from dead. Wash clean and of course, you know, blanch it. Blanching means uh, boiling in culinary. In culinary, it's called blanching or boiling. So I'm going to blanch this lovely, you know, herb and spinach. And when I'm done with blanching, I'll tell you the next process. Keep your, finger, keep your fingers crossed, my friends, while I get started to make my lovely hair boy. And of course, if you are just joining this live stream, make sure you know you click the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss the latest from Coco Chef Francis. Of course, I have so many videos now and I have you know I got you know about 180 videos now. Of course I'm gonna make any thousands of videos right on YouTube. So give my videos a like share my videos, you know, on social media or whatever, and let people know that there's a great channel like this running on YouTube. Keep watching, keep sharing, you know, keep liking the videos. And of course, check out my playlist. I have, you know, I just made a new playlist now, you know, new playlist on dressings and sauces. Of course, I'm making different kind of sauces, starter sauce and the rest. I said that several times. Dressings, different kind of dressings, hair boy, now I'm making hair boy today. And of course, I'm making different kind of sauces. And of course, my friends, more soup of the day. More soup of the day. If you check out my playlist on soup of the day, you're gonna find some lovely soup. But of course, I'm gonna make it more soup of the day. So keep watching. This general is gonna be more of soup, different kind of soup, sauces. And of course, you know, I've made lots of bread, so I'm, you know, you know, I, I want to stop making some bread for now and I make the kind of, you know, dessert. Of course, I want to stay away from sweet things for now. Now I'm going into soup. I want to make the kind of soup. I make leek and potato soup. You can check it out on my playlist. Leek and potato soup. I've made that. Of course, today, after this, make sure you stay put. Around 2.30, I'm going to start the next video on how to make our lovely cream of you know, celery and spinach soup. That's gonna be absolutely lovely. So my friends, I'm gonna get started now. As I said before, I'm gonna wash this, I'll run down the cold water, and of course, I'm gonna blanch it. Thank you very much. So I'm running that in cold water now. So I, I wanna make sure that there's no sun in there, and of course, I want it absolutely clean. So I'm washing my um, vegetables just in cold water. I'm running that in cold water. So I'm going to show you. I'm running that in cold water. I'm washing it now.
So you can see I'm running that in cold water. So uh, in the next uh, two minutes, I should be done washing in cold water. I love basil. I can perceive the uh, the aroma from the basil. Basil is very nice when you're making your hair boy. It's absolutely nice. Always add basil to your hair boy. It looks. It gives it a nice, you know, aroma. It's a very nice hair basil. I love it. Of course, when you make your tomato soup, if you check out my video on how I make tomato soup, you find that I added some basil to my lovely tomato soup. You can check out that on my lovely soup of the day playlist of course it's gonna be lovely soup this time around i'm making lovely kind of soup you know right here on this lovely channel coco chef francis live on youtube making it on youtube keep watching every day my friends while i keep watching this i'm gonna show you what next to do i'm gonna blanch my lovely vegetables So I'm running that in cold water. That's absolutely nice sensation, my friend. Lovely head. So I'm done washing now. Um, what next, my friends? Time for blanching this lovely um, herbs. I'm gonna blanch it now. My friends, uh, I'm gonna blanch that right now. So I have, I'm gonna boil that away So my friends, now I said I'm gonna blanch my, uh, you know, vegetables. So um, I have to move my camera now so that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna turn on my uh, hog. So I'm gonna turn that on now, and of course, I'm gonna pop in my hair and spinach. 
I'm going to blind that right here in my lovely saucepan. So we'll leave that to boil away, you know. I'm going to leave that to boil away. So my friends, while that is boiling away, I'll be right back in just a second. Thank you very much. So my friends, uh, we need to allow that to uh, boil away. So that's the herb. Right here, I have 100 grams of spinach, 25 grams of parsley, 10 grams of chive, and of course, 10 grams of basil. So I already wash, you know, my hair. I run that in cold water, and of course, I'm gonna blanch them now. So I'm gonna do that for, you know. I'm gonna do that for about, five minutes and of course after blanching I'm gonna drain the water and of course I'm gonna tell you the next step after you know blanching and draining the water so I want it to cook quickly I want that to boil away quickly, so I'm going to put the leaf on. I'm going to put the lid on, so it's gonna it's gonna cook quickly. It's gonna boil away quickly. So my friends, it's gonna be a lovely 
uh, you know, Playboy. Of course, in two hours, in less than one hour, 30 minutes, I'm going to be making uh, our lovely, you know, cream of spinach and uh, celery soup. And of course, I'm going to pop my hair oil on my lovely soup. So sit back, relax and enjoy. In one hour, 30 minutes, I'm going to make cream of celery and spinach soup. It's going to be lovely. I'm going to pop my hair boy on it. So let's check and see what's going on. Yeah. It's steaming now. It's boiling away. So... And I can persist the basil because the basil have a nice aroma. So it's nice to use your basil when you're making your hair boy. I love it. So my friends, why that is boiling away? My friends, you can see, uh, <laughs> you can see the uh, hair boy is boiling away, and of course, I'm blanching that, and I want that quickly. You know that's why I put on the lid, and of course, if you are not in a rush, you can leave the lid open. If you can leave the pot open, uh, the, the saucepan open, you don't need to put the lid on. You can. Remove the lid, and of course, you know, just blanch it that way. But I want it quicker. This is a live stream, so I want everything quick. I don't want to waste of time while I'm making my hair boy. Of course, I want to make something absolutely gorgeous, absolutely, you know, sensational. You know, of course, you know what I mean. When you're making hair boy, you want to make it perfect. You don't want to make something rubbish. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, my friends. That's blanching now. I can hear the, the vegetable, you know, cooking away. You know, that's boiling away. You don't need to stay, just leave it that way. I'm gonna show you in just, you know, in two minutes, I'm gonna show you what's going on. You don't need to blanch for long, so you just, you know, I show you now, it's almost ready. I'm moving my camera so that you can see what I'm doing. You know I'm the cameraman. <laughs> I can perceive the basil, so you don't need to blanch so long. So I'm gonna turn my oven, my 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 hob off. You can blanch for two to three minutes. That's alright. I'm going to check now if yeah. You can see the water from the vegetable You can keep that one if you like because you know when you when you blanch in a vegetable the water from that is you know is the nutrient from the vegetable so of course the nutrient from the herb you can keep it you can drink it it's you know it's medicinal it's good because you can see it's green in color so you can use that later instead of getting rid of that but if you want to drain it that's fine but when making hair boy, we don't need it. We don't need the water, so we're gonna drain that. But of course, you can keep it and use it, you know, you know, as your vegetable stock or something. You can keep that. 
So my friends, now I'm gonna drain that with my colander, and uh, after draining, I'm gonna use my lovely. Uh, I told I told you my friends you can use um, a liquidizer or maybe a food processor or something to please or blend your lovely herb. But of course, I'll be using my strong blender. So if you want to use a blender, you must make sure your blender is very strong you know, when you're doing that. So I'm going to grab my blender now. So you know the, the process is blanching, uh, think three steps, four steps, run in cold water by washing your herb and spinach. Next step, blanch. Next step, after blanching, you blend or bleed, and of course, the last one you pass and decant. You decant and pass. So now I'm gonna do the second step. Sorry, the third step. I've done the washing, which is the first step, and of course, this is the second step, blanching. And the next step, the third step, is gonna be draining. So I'm gonna drain that now. I'm gonna drain that now. So I'm gonna, you know push back my um, camera to his um, usual position so my camera is back to his you know usual position I do the cameraman so now yeah now my friends my lovely camera is back to his usual position now I have my lovely blender with me, you know, you know, lovely blender. It's super strong. Now my friends, uh, that's my lovely head. So now my friends, I said, when we're making our lovely hair boy i'm trying to adjust my camera of course it's nice now can you see the lovely steam you know coming out from my lovely hair so i love it and it's keeping me warm you know it's cold right now in the uk so i love the steam you know and the, the aroma from the basil it keeps me warm and of course you know i'm happy with the, the the aroma from my lovely basil so uh, my friends you can see i'm gonna show you again nice and green can you see how nice and green our hair are so it's gonna be green oil you know hair oil is green oil it's gonna be a green oil it's gonna be called hair oil as well so you can check out my thumbnail I said how to make herb oil, how to make green oil, how to make parsley oil, how to make basil oil, how to make spinach oil. My friends, it means the same thing. Because right here, you have basil, 10 grams, you have spinach, 100 grams, you have, you know, parsley, 10 grams. You have chai, 10 grams. It's also called chai oil. So, my friends, this is, you know, a combination of herb and spinach. So, the same process I'm using to make uh, my herb oil is going to be the same process you're going to use to make, you're going to use to make your parsley oil. And, of course, chai oil, green oil, spinach oil. They all mean the same thing, my friends. It's similar. Just use the same process. First step, wash by running in cold water. Never use hot water to wash your hair or your vegetables. Run them in cold water. After running in cold water, what next, my friends? You need to blanch your hair and spinach for about two to three minutes. That's all right. Blanch them when they are all right. You know, of course, when you're blanching, you're going to add some water. You need to add some water. You can see 
the amount of water right in there. Of course, you can see it's green water, so you don't need to blanch for long because you want to retain the greenness of your vegetable, so you don't need to blanch for long. Of course, the remaining the water there, you can drink it, it's alright, it's medicinal, you can use it for your veg, vegetable stock or whatever. You don't need, you want to get rid of it, that's fine. So for me, I'm going to drain that now, and I'm going to use the lovely vegetables from, you know, from the herb, uh, the, the lovely herb I have right there, I'm going to pop it right here now and add olive oil. When I say my friends, you can use corn oil, you can use your favorite oil if you want. But right now my friends, I'm going to add my lovely olive oil. So I'm going to weigh my lovely olive oil right now my friends. Thank you for tuning in to this lovely channel and thank you, you know, for your patience. Thank you very much. So sit back, relax and enjoy. This is Cuckoo Chef Francis, making it real on YouTube, live on YouTube, making, you know, videos every day and uploading lovely videos every day. So please check out my playlist, check out my, you know, share my videos on social media, give it a like. And you have not yet subscribed to this lovely channel, please do so by clicking, you know, the subscribe button, turn on the bell, and of course, you know, stay connected to this lovely station. I love you guys, and I'm going to finish up my uh, hair boy now. Thank you very much. So I'm going to drain it with a uh, with colander. So I'm going to drain it right here. So you can see what I'm going to do now, my friends. So I'm going to turn my camera. So you can see I'm going to drain that in my sink. You can see the water, you know, coming out from it. It's green. You know, green water coming out from it. So, but I say you can keep that water if you like. You can keep it. That's nice. So now I'm going to, you know, drain it. I'm going to squeeze the juice out. It's absolutely hot. Can you see that, my friends? Green. So I'm going to pop that in, that's absolutely hot, so the green oil, you know, I drain that, So my friends, now we're going to proceed to make our final, you know, so straight there. So now my friend, I'm, I'm going to weigh my um, olive oil. So my friends, uh, that's uh, how I drained, uh, can you see that my friends, lovely, I've drained the lovely uh, herb, blanched herbs and spinach, I, I, I already, you know, blanched them, drained them and of course it's right here in my blender and of course I say you can use a blender, you can use your, you know, your food processor or liquidizer, 
So now, I'm gonna weigh my olive oil. I need about 250 grams or 250 milliliters of olive oil. So now my friends, I'm gonna wear my olive oil. I love olive oil. I said you can use your corn oil or whatever oil you like. That's all right. But I want to use my olive oil. I need 250 milliliters. So now, my friends, I'm gonna put that away. I don't need that anymore. So it's time for me to bleach or blend my lovely, you know, hair boy. So that's the drained, blanch and drained uh, herbs. So I'm going to pop my olive oil right in here. I don't, I don't want to put everything at the same time. So I'm going to pop a little bit of that. Olive oil is very nice. I love olive oil. Absolutely nice, my friends. So this is the professional way of making hair oil. My friends, can you hear that? This is a super blender. Absolutely strong. So my friends, it is best to use your food processor, your liquidizer, but if you don't have your food processor, please, my friends, make sure you use a strong blender. Look at how green that, that is, like a pesto. Of course, you know, your pesto is enjoyable when you, you know, you, you pop your pesto on, on, uh, on your salmon, on your grilled salmon. Of course, you can check out my video on how I make my pesto, lovely pesto. It looks nice and green. Of course, you know, it's similar, you know, to making your hair work. So I'm gonna check that again and see, you know. Yeah, you see, it's lovely. It looks nice and green. Of course, I told you, my friends, I'm gonna be using 250 milliliters of olive oil so I only added about 100 milliliters or something so I'm gonna pop more you know oil there you put that in beads so you check for consistency you know you don't want to add too much you don't want to make mistakes so always correct you know check for consistency correct it whenever That's Super. So I'm gonna grab my um, I need a spatula my friends. So um, I need a spatula so I'm gonna check what's going on. I'm gonna show you my friends. I'm not yet done but look at that nice and green lovely olive oil lovely blanche uh you know herb you know they look absolutely nice so i'm gonna use my uh, my spatula i'm gonna scoop it you know i want everything to mix very well you can see that my friends absolutely nice absolutely sensational it looks absolutely gorgeous my friends nice and green lovely hair boy you know lovely texture so i said my friends when you blazing or blending your hair boy you only need to do that for about three minutes you don't need to do it for long 
So I'm going to blaze one more time. So I'm just checking for consistency and see if this. Look at that, my friend. This is absolutely gorgeous and absolutely sensational, my friends. You know, it looks, you know, lovely. Look at that, my friends. Nice. Lovely. So now, my friends, I'm going to bleed again for the last time. The last time, my friends, I'm gonna please my lovely hair boy. So, that amount of oil is all right, my friends. So, um, yeah. Add a little bit of oil again. That's all right. I love olive oil, my friends. It's absolutely nice. So I'm gonna bleed the last time. So my friends, our herb oil is ready. So I'm gonna, you know, the last thing for me to do is to pass and decant our herb oil. So I'm gonna pass and decant it and show you how nice it came out, my friends. So my friends, sit back, relax and enjoy. I'll be right back in 30 seconds. Thank you very much. So my friends, I'm gonna rest my, you know, hair oil for a few minutes. After resting, I'm gonna pass it. I'm gonna pass and decant, and I'm gonna show you my lovely hair oil. So my friends, I said my name is Francis, and this is Cook with Chef Francis live on YouTube, making it on YouTube. So today I made hair oil, and of course. I said, uh, <laughs> I told I told you my friends the recipes, and of course, you know I told you how uh, I made it 
from start to finish. <laughs> Look at that, it looks absolutely nice. Can you see that, my friends? Absolutely gorgeous. This is, you know, a sensational hair ball. A professional one. <laughs> So my friends, now I'm gonna, you know, allow this to rest. After some time, I'm gonna, you know, decant it. And of course, I'm gonna pass it into a chinois. You know, I can use a chinois. If I don't wanna use a chinois, you know, I can also use my, uh, if you don't have a chinois, I know a chinois is expensive. If you don't have a chinois, you can just use your normal sieve to sieve it, you know, that's all right, that's all right, and of course my friends, you know, you can put your hair boy in a bottle or something, or you could just store it somewhere, or you could pop it in a bowl, and of course, when you're done with your hair boy, what do you use your hair boy for? Your air boy, you need to refrigerate your air boy. You need to put them somewhere and refrigerate it, you know, because you want it fresh. You don't want to, you know, make it, you know, because it contains the hair, you need to refrigerate. Because if you leave it out there, it might not last longer, you know. Refrigerate them, and when you're ready to use, you know, remove them from the fridge. And of course, you can use your hair boy on salad as a salad dressing. Of course, you can use it for your soup. You know, I said in the next one hour or in the next 30 minutes, I'll be making soup right here live on YouTube. Of course, I'll be making cream of spinach and, you know, celery soup. So I'll be popping my hair boy or my lovely soup. So your hair boy could be used for your soup for your salad dressings and of course it could be used on your lovely great salmon I said that before I repeat myself again this is the reason why you make your hair boy they are lovely and of course they are full of aroma and of course lovely aroma from the basil of course I love adding basil when I'm making my hair boy it keeps me that lovely aroma and of course you know when you have a nice aroma from your hair boy and you pop that on salad dressing, on soups, and of course, on other kind of dishes or your salmon. Of course, when someone is eating it, of course, he or she feels the aroma, you know, from the basil. Right in the hair boy, my friends. It's absolutely nice, absolutely sensational, absolutely gorgeous. So my friends, if you are just joining this live stream, or if this is your first time watching you know this lovely station please click the subscribe button after clicking the subscribe button when you are subscribed please turn on the bell and when you turn on the bell you know make sure you know when you, when you turn on the bell you don't get you get notified whenever I go live you know on YouTube or whenever I upload a new video but of course if you don't turn on the bell you might not know when I'm going live. Of course, you don't want to miss the latest from Coco Chef Francis. So stay connected, keep watching, keep watching every day, and share my videos on social media. Of course, let people know that there's a channel, a great channel like this, making it for real, you know, making lovely and nice videos. Of course, this is a live stream. If I was making something, and of course, the final result was not good, it's gonna be, you know, absolutely ridiculous. But of course, it's gonna be absolutely isn't it? But of course, I'm making something nice and sensational. If you check out my live stream, all the live stream I've been making, and of course, all my videos I've played on YouTube, you will find out that everything is absolutely perfect, nice and perfect, nice and gorgeous, nice and sensational. Every videos and live stream I upload right here on this YouTube is nice and sensational. Nice and perfect, real recipes, not fake. I give my viewers the real recipes, 
more fake recipes. If you check out my video when I upload a new video, you're gonna find out the recipes from the beginning. The intro, you're gonna find my recipes, and of course, I explain everything from start to finish. Now today, I explain everything from start to finish, and of course, I gave you the real recipes. So please stay connected to this channel, subscribe to this channel, so that I don't miss the latest from Cook with Chef Francis. I remain Francis by name, and this is Cook with Chef Francis, live on YouTube, making it real on YouTube. So my friends, I'm gonna end this live stream in 10 minutes. And before I do that, I'm gonna, you know, show you the final result of my lovely hair boy. Of course, when I end this live stream in 10 minutes, join me in 30 minutes for another interesting video. I'll be making something, you know, nice and sensational. Of course, I'll be making, in the next 30 minutes, I said, I'll be making a lovely spinach and cream of spinach and celery soup. It's going to be absolutely sensational and gorgeous. So please, Make sure you tune in, you know, for the latest right here on the station. So my friends, I'm going to show you now the final result of my hairboard. Now the hairboard is rested for some time. So now I'm going to decant it and pass it. But for the last time, my friends, if I end this live stream, the next seven minutes. I'm going to tell you again how I made this and of course how I got to this very point. So thank you for your patience and thank you for watching my channel. Now my friends, I said the recipes for this lovely hair boy. Number one, 100 grams of spinach. I weighed it. You need to pick your hair of course, the spinach I bought is already picked, so I weighed 100 grams and I set it aside. Next, I weighed 10 grams of chive, I set the chive aside. Next recipe, parsley, I picked my parsley and I weighed 25 grams, I set it aside. Of course, I picked my lovely fresh bazoo. I weighed it, 10 grams, I set it aside. Then finally, what I did was to, um, you know, weigh, you know, I said I weigh my parsley, 100 grams, chive, 10 grams, basil, 10 grams, and parsley, I weighed 25 grams. So four different herbs, four of those. I weigh them, then I run them in cold water. You know, I said never use hot water to wash your herbs and vegetables. Of course, you know what I mean. Do not do that. Never, please, my friends. Run them in cold water. Of course, when you run them in hot water, they're going to shrink. And of course, they're not going to be fresh. So in culinary, we run our vegetables, we chefs run our vegetables and herbs in cold water because we want them to look alive. Of course, when the plants are growing right there in the field, you don't want to run hot water on them. They're going to die, isn't it? Of course, you want to water them with cold water. Because... Cold water is good for plants. And of course, as human beings, we also, we don't want to have a hot bath. We want to have, we want to, want to, of course, if the weather is cold, we're not using hot water. It's warm water on our body because hot water is going to damage our skins. So the same thing is going to kill the plant and they're not going to stay alive. So when you run them in hot water, it's, we're going to kill them, so we don't want to do that. So we run them in cold water. So after running the vegetables in cold water, 
our lovely head in cold water. What did I do next, my friends? I pop my lovely head, you know, my washed head, I pop them into my lovely saucepan and I added about one cup of water. I added one cup of cold water, you know, you could use that cup or mug, that mug is enough. Just one mug or a cup of cold water, I poured it into my lovely saucepan. Just a, a cup of cold water, a mug of cold water. After that, my friends, I blanched the head, you know, in the cold water. I blanched it and allowed it to boil away. You know, white blanching is boiling away at the same time. And of course, I did that for about three minutes. And after three minutes, my friends, I drained the water. Of course, you saw me drain it in my sink and you can see the green oil, the green water coming out from the head and I said my friends the green oil coming out the green water coming out from the head is really nutritious you can use it for your vegetable stock or you can keep it you can use it to cook or something because they are nice while well, I drained mine of course I could always make more I drained mine but you can keep yours if you want to and of course my friends what I did after draining I squeezed more of the juice out from the head and I pop you know my head we don't need the juice we need the head because of course you know water water and oil it doesn't work together you need to squeeze out the juice because when you mix water and oil together what happens the water flows on the oil of course we're making hair oil we don't want to use the juice from our head of course what we need is our vegetable of course we need to blanch it first after blanching I drained it squeeze the juice out and I pop it's straight into my lovely blender. Of course, my friends, I said never use a blender that is not strong. The right thing to use, you can use your food processor, your liquidizer, or you could use a strong blender, like your hand blender or your normal one. Like this one, I used it. It's super strong. So what I did, I popped my vegetable right in. This blender is absolutely nice. It's also bliss. It can blend, you know, ice cubes and whatever it's absolutely strong i love it so i pop it straight into my lovely blender my super strong blender and of course i added 250 milliliters of olive oil you can add from 200 to 250 it's up to you my friends you can use 200 you can use 250 you can use 220 that's all right but between 200 do not go below 200 from 200 to 250 of olive oil that's all right for your hair boy. Of course, you can use a corn oil. You can use sunflower oil, your favorite oil you like. It's up to you. But, you know, I love olive oil because it's really healthy for me. So I love using olive oil. So I blease or blended my head with olive oil. And of course, that was the result, my friends. Look at that, my friend. Now it's rested. I said... After resting, I'm going to what? Sieve it or pass it. I'm going to pass and decant. You know, I'm going to pass and decant it. And of course, I'm going to show you the final result. So, it involves four stages. So, I'm going to make the summary now. Four stages right here to get your hair boy. Number one stage, wash by running in cold water, stage one, or step one. Step two, blanch your herbs. Step three, blend it. And four, you know, when you, when you run in cold water, step one, run in cold water, step two, but I say my friends, 
Step two, blanch. You need to add a cup of water or something, you blanch it. That's step two. Step three. But like I say, my friends, step three, drain it. Step four. It's five, five steps, isn't it? It's five stages. After draining, step four, blend. And step five, decant after resting. I repeat myself for the last time. Step one, wash by running in cold water. Step two, blanch it with a cup of water. I like to boil away by blanching. Step three, drain it. Drain the herbs. Step four, blend or blaze it. And step five, allow to rest, pass and decant. So I'm on step five now. After step five, I'm going to end this live stream. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for joining this live stream. My name is Francis. This is Kuku Chef Francis. Live on YouTube. Making a real on YouTube. So I'm going to make, you know, I'm going to do the last step or last stage, which is pass and decant. Now, if I want to do that, I'm going to use my colander or, not a colander, I beg your pardon, your chinois, you're going to use your chinois or your sieve. So, I'm going to use my sieve because right now I don't have a chinois, so I'm going to use my sieve. So, I'm going to pass it right here, I'm going to pass it right here. So, uh, I'm going to pass it in a... I'm going to pass it in a transparent jug so you can see what I'm doing. You know, I'm going to pass it right here. So my friends, sit back, relax and enjoy while I pass my lovely herb oil. I love the aroma from the basil. Look at that, my friends. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely sensational, my friends. Lovely hair boy, my friends. Look at that. Look at that, my friends. Look at that, my friends. Absolutely nice, my friends. Look at that. Look at that, my friends. Lovely. So you can see my friends, that vegetable is very nice, you can keep it, you can still use that one. So I'm going to show you my friends, our lovely hair boy, you can see that, not too oily, it looks absolutely nice. So now my friends, I have my lovely hair boy. I'm gonna pop it, you know, in a lovely bowl. Or you can put it in a ramekin if you like. You put 
Buddha and Yolami King. You know, I'll visit that for my dressing. You know. But what I'm going to be doing now, instead of putting a ramekin, I'll just pop it here. So it looks absolutely nice, my friends. Lovely. So my friends, when you're making hair boy, you can see, I'm going to show you now. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely sensational. Look at that. Looks absolutely amazing. Look at, look at that, my friend. Nice hair oil full of, you know, flavor. You know, not just oily, but you can see the green oil. Look at the greenness, how green it is. Look at the, you know, the hair is absolutely green. So I said, if you check my thumbnail, I said how to make green oil. So of course, this is how to make a lovely green oil called hair oil. Of course, I said how to make parsley oil as well. If you use only parsley, if you blanch only your parsley, it is called parsley oil. If you blanch only uh, chai, this is called it is called chai oil. If you blanch only uh, spinach, it is then called spinach oil. And of course, if you blend only bazu, it is called bazu oil. So my friends, this is a lovely green oil, basil oil, parsley oil, chive oil, herb oil. So my friends, when you leave your herb oil to rest for some time, you know, if you leave your, if you leave your herb oil to rest, for some time, maybe if you leave it in the fridge to rest, or if you leave it, you know, to rest on the table, you will find out that after some time, maybe in the next 30 minutes, you're gonna see the oil, the olive oil, or any oil you use, any, any oil you use, maybe uh, sunflower oil, corn oil, whatever. You're gonna see it floating over the green herbs so when you when you want to use it again for example if you if you put them in a box or whatever when you want to use them again you need to like you know beat them together mix them up again when you mix them you will get back your greenness so that's it my friends and that's the lovely table easy to make if you remember what I did or if you just joined this live stream make sure you watch the replay of how I made this lovely table watch the replay from start to finish and make sure you know you write down the recipe so you don't forget but they are easy to make you know. So thank you my friends for watching how I made this lovely hair oil. Of course, you, you, you can use, you can enjoy your hair oil, you know, with your with salmon, with your lovely soup of the day, and of course, your favorite dish. Enjoy them whenever, you know, you like with your favorite dish, of course, Remember to join me in the next 30 minutes. In 30 minutes, I'm gonna start the second video on how to make, 
you know, I'll be live, I'll go live in the next 30 minutes and I'm gonna show you how to make a lovely cream of spinach and celery soup. So I'll be making that in the next uh, 30 minutes and of course when I finish making my cream of spinach and celery soup, I'm gonna to top that lovely soup. I'm gonna pop my lovely soup in a bowl, and of course, I'm gonna to top that soup with green, with green oil or hair oil. So thank you, my friends, for your patience. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching this lovely channel. Thank you for subscribing and thank you, you know, for sharing my videos and liking my videos. So I said, my name is Francis. This is Google Share Francis. Making it real on YouTube, live on YouTube. Making real recipes, not fake recipes, my friend. Real recipes, and that's why I make it real right here on YouTube. I make real recipes, not fake. If I tell you anything, my friends, from start, if I'm gonna make, for example, raisins bread, at the end, it's gonna be raisins bread. It's not fake, no fast forward. Run my channel. I show you everything from start to finish. Real recipes, you know, real ingredients. And that's it, my friends. Now, today, I said I'm gonna be making hair boy, and this is real hair boy. So, thank you. I'm going to wish you, my friends, again, a happy new year, you know, and of course, a very good day ahead. So see you in 30 minutes for my next video on how to make a uh, cream of spinach and celery soup. I made Francis by name. Thank you very much. And this is Google Chef Francis live on YouTube. I'll see you in 30 minutes. Keep watching my videos, keep sharing my videos on social media, and of course, give my videos a like. And of course, watch my playlist. Please share them, watch all my videos, share them, and stay connected to this channel. Thank you very much. I love you all. See you in the next 30 minutes. Bye bye. Bye-bye.